Hey everyone what's up? So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your own retro gaming console with a Raspberry Pi. Actually it's a Recal Pi because I'll be using Recal OS to emulate NES, GBA, Super Nintendo games. So this process is very straightforward and simple, just like using Raspbian for first time. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first thing that you're gonna need is a Raspberry Pi. Model 3B is ideal as the Recal OS does not support the new Raspberry Pi yet. A memory card for OS and adapter for flashing. Keyboard or a USB console. And at last, a reliable 5V 2A power supply. Download Recal OS from their website. Choose the right version according to your Pi version. In my case, the Recal OS for model 3B. Unzip the downloaded OS and burn it into the memory card with Rufus or similar software. Boot up your Pi and basically you are done. At this point you can play games that are already inside the Pi, like Doom. But how can we play games like Pokemon Emerald on GBA or Super Mario or Zelda? For that first download their ROM file, then connect your Pi with your Wi-Fi network and then open Win SPC. Add Raspberry Pi hostname with username root and password recalbox root. Then you can remotely add files to your Pi. Go to the ROM directory and select the right emulator. I want to transfer Pokemon which runs on GBA. So I have to copy my Pokemon game ROM.GBA file in this folder. Same is with every other game. Copy them in their emulators folder. Also, if you don't have a USB controller, you can use your keyboard instead. Just open the controller setting and assign each key according to your preference. Now reboot your Recal Pi and open the emulator you want to play. As you can see the game is now in its assigned emulator menu. Now just hit enter and enjoy the game. Now this video is basically an introductional video to this setup. In future I will make my own controller with a custom PCB board which will have buttons and Pi hat for connecting the wire of that controller with GPIOs. For now this is it. If this video was helpful then hit that subscribe button. 
leave a comment if you run into some issues and i'll see you guys next time peace out